so many possibilities uh, to make us uh, to reflect on problems uh, and the different issues. So why narratives can be so important? Because when you read a book, you enter an entire world. When you read a book, you enter the world of the book. So you get the people animating the book, you face how they live, and sometimes uh, what you read uh, is evoking uh, from your inner part uh, what we are still living with. And I'm talking also about, uh, you know, very soft lit literature, I mean, my favorite is Jane Austen, and uh, if you read uh, all the books of this uh, beautiful lady, you can see how uh, light can be the life and how deep is the sense she gave to the way we react to other people around us. So, reading a book is going to an entire world, but you need to be very careful and pay attention to the world you are reading. So you need to pay attention to who is the voice, who is talking. And when you understand who is talking, then you start to understand who is talking even in your life. Because sometimes we listen to the people, but we don't understand the principal voice. We don't understand who is the voice who is not heard, who is the voice who is too silent, who is the voice uh, uh, that is pushed out of our life, of the society we are, we are facing. So reading a book is very important if you learn how to read a book, how to read a poetry. So get into the meaning of the book and try to pick up each single word and to make a resonance with your inner life. So this can happen with everything. I remember once I used the heavy wheels Prada to do a lessons because even, you know, a, a, a general literature can teach us something. But of course, if you read Dante or Shakespeare, you are getting more and more and more possibility to understand the level and the, the problems and the face, the different face, arguing or populating our life.